Before this video begins, I'd like to thank Ubisoft for providing me with access to the Dread Factor Battle Pass. Ah, I finally updated. Good. Well, everybody, welcome to the new season of Rainbow Six, Dread Factor. What a week it has been for me. Um, you know, last Friday I graduated, um, you know, I renewed my Xbox subscription, I pre-ordered F123, so can't wait for that, and really this summer is going to be a big one for me, but hopefully I'll still be able to do YouTube, hopefully, and still play a lot. So anyways, if you're new here to this channel, welcome, first of all. But the, whenever a new season releases, I pretty much look at the battle pass in the first video. Like, I separate them into two videos. I look at the battle pass and look at all the stuff, you know, map reworks, operator, in the first video. And then the second video, I upload pretty much a gameplay of the new season and just go on from there. Oh, yes. Thank God. Ooh, arcade playlist. There it is. That's one of the things I was going to check out, of course. Uh, what else? Shooting range update? Okay. And here we are! Dread Factor. <laughs> and there's Fenrir. I hope I pronounce his name still correctly. There he is. Look at him. There's our man. <laughs> Look at him. Majestic. Oh, and I just realized, uh... Oh, he got the 5.7. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, because on the test server, he only had the MP7 and the Sash G and the Bailiff, but I guess they gave him the 5.7. So that's good. Uh, now I can actually run Black Ice on all of them. All right, there we go. I don't have Black Ice for the SSG, unfortunately, but that's all right. <laughs> so let's see this battle pass. Apparently, okay. So we're on T or we're on level 21, but it didn't give me my my like token things. But I probably need to go into a T hunt and do that. Do that, <laughs> and then it'll probably give me it. Let's check out this battle pass. So I, first off, I can see a oh my god, Ace. What is this? It looks like the lion thing from last season. Credit where it's due, Hogland's idiosity. <laughs> oh, I just love that Osa hates his guts. That's so funny. What the fuck is that? What? Oh, they actually let you see it. <laughs> Anyways, he looks like he's from Far Cry, uh, for crying out loud. It, it does. <laughs> Orcs, he's just got fucking leaves on his head. <laughs> There's Ash stuff, yes. I'm with the bit. Wait, what? I'm in. I'm with the band. I'm in the band. Okay, so she's a rock star now, as we can see. Backstage pass. Interesting. I didn't think she. Was, I didn't think she was gonna get anything this season. <laughs> Mom, can we get ghosts? We have ghosts at home. The ghosts at home. <laughs> this is. It's. They literally tried to make ghosts from Modern Warfare 2 in here. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh no wonder why that Ash one is in there because they have. The main stage. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, Jackal got some stuff finally. Felt like Jackal didn't get anything from like all these battle passes. <laughs> now he's got some good stuff. He's even got like a portrait, so that's nice. And a uniform. My one friend is going to go crazy <laughs> over it. You what? Is that her hair? Jesus Christ. Oh, that's. Pr oh, I, I actually. You I feel like you gotta run that. Everybody has to run that now. <laughs> that looks so perfect. And there's a portrait. Oh, she's even got like a little guitar weapon skin. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure it's right here. Yep. Shredded riffs. That is perfect. Oh my god. I'd actually run the silver black ice if I had it, but I'll definitely run that shit. <laughs> that is perfect. <laughs> Weapon skin looks deaf to- Oh, man. That looks so cool. I have black eyes, but I might have to run that, actually. I like the moving parts inside of the gun. That is very, very cool. Unbreakable shine. Indeed it is. Oh, wait. We might as well see the seasonal skin if they have- Have it? Yes, they do. Oh, and I see they released new esports things, too. Oh, wow. We'll have to check those out. So... Here's the seasonal skin, Wicked Reckoning. It's alright. Um, I don't know. Not really sure what to think about it. I mean, I'm a sucker for weapon skins, and in my opinion, I think this is really solid. The attachment skin does go hard, though. I will admit that. It really does. Fear Obsession. Oh, that's a bunch of x-rays. Okay. And Life and Bane. Alright, so before I jump into a T hunt to show this consulate rework even though i showed off the map already we're still gonna you know do a T hunt and such sue new event there it is arcade oh and there's consulate too 
Some more info. So obviously they added free for all. No team. First two, 30 eliminations wins. Okay. Found okay. Deathmatch, of course. Snipers only, headshots only, golden gun. Nice. <laughs> Well, that's nice that uh, we have an arcade mode now, so that's very nice. I think uh, this is everybody's favorite part of these videos, watching me suffer with these packs. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, off to a great start so far. Oh, it's actually a good start, yeah. I like the Crimson Heist stuff. They're pink. They're very nice. What was that? Oh, okay, good, a duplicate. At least it's Renown. I don't know if y'all just noticed that, but some some weird shit was just flying there. Okay. Bravo pack time. Bye! Okay. Oh, yeah, you see? You saw that, like, fucking light just flash by? <laughs> that was so weird. Okay. Yep, there it goes again. Cool. Fucking Cobra. Uncommon. Alright. Disgusting. Cool. <laughs> Jack shit. <laughs> Jack shit. Cool. Fuck it. Whatever. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, I'm I'm desperate to make it at least look good. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't want that. Like that's ugly. Okay. All right. Bruh. Oh boy, these shits never disappoint. They make me go insane. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gl actually glad to get that stuff out of the way because there's still a lot much better things. So, controller layout, yeah, here you go. You got like new controller layouts now, like, um, let's say you're coming from Call of I, I guess, I don't know, fucking Call of Duty, <laughs> I guess. Um, tactical bumper croucher, I guess. You know, like in Call of Duty, some people put their crouch button on their right stick and the melee to B button. So now you can actually have that in Siege. So that's pretty good. Now, and you also have bumper shooter, enhanced bumper leaner. Um, I'm curious to know if this actually, like, like makes it so you can lean without aiming now. Actually, I'm going to try that, actually. Let's go try that out. And I might as well kill two birds with one stone here because we could go to the shooting range, which has a new lane in it now yep lean right um no it's not doing it oh yeah it's only an ads so no leaning on console or no like leaning from the hip on console <laughs> evolved bumper shooter oh this one is like a having your aim and shoot with like your bumpers many people do this on playstation it's actually pretty helpful I i've i've learned yep Pretty nice. A tactical bumper croucher. This one I'm familiar with because you crouch with your you crouch with the, uh, your right stick now, and you melee with your B button, just like in Call of Duty. And even sometimes I had to set up in Battlefield. Okay, now we have the shooting range now, which has a new lane, which allows you to pretty much you can you can do dummies, you can do big balls, or you can do small balls. But pretty much, think of it as like Aim Lab in Siege now. Like you won't need that external program unless many, unless people want it. So we'll go with, I guess, the big balls here. See what it is. Yeah, there it is. Oh fuck! I missed. God damn it! I like it how it even has it in the kill feed. Big ball. <laughs> Fifty. Let's go. <laughs> Ten seconds. Let's see if we can make it to sixty. Let's see. Where are they? Oh, there they are. 58, 59, 60, yes, let's go. Ah, that was good. I wish it could have been 69, but that's all right. But yeah, now you can see, yeah, and you even have like your stats here, 40 kills. Wow, that is really, really bad. <laughs> but that was just a showcase, so don't, I shouldn't worry about it. Well, all right, I think that, I think this might actually be a pretty nice season overall. <laughs> That was honestly so fun, just checking out all the stuff and having a list beside me of like what to check out. I think it it made this a lot better, in my opinion, because I was more organized and honestly it helped overall instead of just jumping all over the place. 
in my opinion. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this first impressions of Operation Dread Factor. Like I said, it's looking to be a solid season. I can't wait to try it out later today you know, when I go into an actual match. And uh, if you are new here and you enjoyed this too, please make sure to drop a like. And to subscribe is appreciated too. And I will see you guys in that gameplay video soon. Goodbye. Thank <music> you.